In today's video, we're opening the first ever collector rare set. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, we're back with another booster box that we will be opening in this video for Nicholas R. And in a previous video, I think it was Legendary Duelist, I said it was for Nicholas R. And I was thinking of this box right here. This is the one Nicholas R. actually got, Toon Chaos, not the Legendary Duelist. So we've got that sorted out. Before we actually open this thing up and pull an amazing collector rare, I hope, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. We have the Breaker, the Magical Warrior, the Dark Paladin, and the Dark Magician. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below that you appreciate Nicholas R for providing this booster box for us to open, as well as your favorite card in the opening. All right, let's get into this booster box. I also want to remind you guys that I have announced giveaways probably by the time you see this, it's been a few days, but it was a few days ago, maybe a week ago, I announced new giveaway winners for the past month. So I usually do it about once a month. If I'm really on the ball, you know, when I have time, I can do it a little bit more often than that. But a lot of times it's about once a month. So there are a lot of winners on there. A lot have been claimed already and uh, I will be getting that shipping out as soon as possible, but it does take me a little bit because it's a lot of work. These giveaways, I mean, they seem easy, you know, but when there's like 30, 40, 50 of them at a time and then like contacting 50 people and getting them to answer, getting them to send me their info, it is a lot of work. As you can see, this is a, uh, a Euro box, by the way the way um, because of these flaps that means it's euro so we have a european toon chaos box hopefully we can get some amazing pulls i'm going to shuffle it up just for a little bit of fun i also have some other fun packs will be opening in this video as well. So if you're excited for that, hit that subscribe button. I heard that if you have a red subscribe button, you might have seven years of winter. And uh, I'm talking bad winter, no Christmas, just the crappy part of winter. Snow, if you like snow, no snow, just cold, you know, whatever you hate, that, that's what'll happen if you don't put, press that red button. Okay, let's start off with one Toon Chaos pack. We obviously want to pull the Stardust Dragon Collector Rare. We want to pull Chaos Emperor Dragon Collector Rare, Black Lister Soldier Collector Rare. I mean, those are all pretty amazing. It's European, so I think it's right at the back. So we're not going to go too crazy with any pack trick or anything. That's a great card. It's probably a couple bucks now. DM. Blocks of Soldier. And the Chaos Valkyria. This can be a collector rare as well. 15 collector rares in the set. This is the first collector rare set, as I said in the intro. I actually opened two or three cases of this with Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! when it first came out. One of the first times I even opened cases. First time was Battles of Legend Armageddon. I think this came out very soon after that. So there's some... Uh, some nostalgia here. Me and Lewis had a good time opening up together, like live. He came over to my apartment. It was really fun. This is Jagunity Ambergram. Shout out to Lewis, aka Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh. Go check him out if you haven't seen his videos before. A lot of vintage content. A great vintage content. So if you like vintage content, it's in the name. Makes sense. Crossover. We have the Keeper of Dragon Magic. Chaos Zone. Masked Hero Vapor. Toon World. Light Pulsar Dragon. And... A Sublimation Knight. Okay, Nicholas, we're gonna need some better pulls than this for you. I am opening a Metal Ridge pack for myself because I want that Pecania Moth. Shout out to Pecania Moth. Oh, anybody see that? Anybody notice that yet? Shout out to Big Kid Life. He sent me that massive Pecanio Moth. So Big Kid Life, shout out to you. It's a little bit crooked, obviously. I mean, it's like falling over. I gotta figure out the setup if I were gonna show in Millennium Shield. I might be able to maybe put it way over there, but then you can't see it. Niwatori, Sagi the Dark Clown, Swan Battle Guard. Crass Clown, Fake Trap, and Battle Steer. Very nice. It's not very nice. What am I talking about? There's nothing nice about Battle Steer. Nobody wants that. I'm sorry. Like, it, it's there's so many good commons, and Battle Steer is not one that I'm really particularly excited about. Okay, Toon World. Come on, Nicholas R. Let's get you something good. Dwarf Star, Psy Frame Gear Gamma. Very nice. Stardust Dragon, Mud Dragon of the Swamp. We have Blacklister Soldier Envoy of the Evening Twilight and Masked Hero Acid. More stuff that we are not looking for. Okay, I need to be opening more of the Toon Chaos. I don't have this many packs over here for myself. We have Laval. I'm still looking for that Dark Magician, obviously. We have not pulled it yet. Star Knight Blast, Hieratic Dragon, and... Oh, come on! I have opened a lot of packs in a row without pulling a Ghost out of Ghost for the past one. It has been quite a streak, which it is only one per case back then. Pretty rough back in 2021. Proglio, Masked Hero Vapor, True King, Chaos Sork, and the Eternal Chaos. It's all supers, but you guys know how I feel about collector rare sets. And based on, you know, my recent video talking about overprinting and everything, I think that honestly, they should just cut out collector rare sets. They, they shouldn't cut out collector rares. They should find something to do with those, but they shouldn't have collector rare sets. I hate the setups of them. Um, I love collector rares. I think they look incredible. 
and I think they have a place in like Yu-Gi-Oh and collectability and everything. I just don't like the way these are set up. You know what I mean? Three ultras, maybe a collector. I don't love that. I don't love that. I think there needs to be a, a better thing. They could even put them in core sets for crying out loud. Starlights and collector rares. Who wouldn't love that? That would be sweet. Mass Hero Goka, Chaos Zone, Starlight Road, Crossover, Chaos Sork, and a Magician of Hope. We are, wow, we are starting off big slow. I have a King's Court pack. Speaking of collector rare sets, this is for me. This is for Rux and himself. Can I get that Egyptian God card secret rare? Pharaoh's secret, whatever. Arcane Extra Joker. Constellar. Wicked Dreadroot. The Wicked Eraser. And the White Rose Cloister. Cloister is definitely a Pokemon. I'm just saying that. Okay, just saying. Will we finally get some? Oh, that is, that's a different pile. Okay, I gotta remember that. I have a pile and Nicholas has a pile here. We have Driver. BLS, is that a sign? Please. Cypher M Gear Gamma, Light Pulsar Dragon, Sangan. Ugh, all supers so far. Very, very slow start, I will say. Literally all supers, and supers are guaranteed, so that is not literally nothing. Time Thief Redoer, come on. Danger Thunderbird, Metaphors Counter, Miracle Synchro Fusion, and. Ah, oh, Meteor Black Common Dragon. Pretty good card, but not the card we're searching for, or any of the cards we're searching for, which would be any Ghost Room. Toon Chaos, I believe in you. European Toon Chaos. Dark Flare Dragon. Cypher and Driver. Gemini Ablation. Chaos Sork. Good to see you. Crossover. Supervise. And we have the Toon Army Lady. Probably the best pull yet, because it is a Toon card out of Toon Chaos, which ironically has like four or five Toon cards total. So not a ton, but it's nice at least. Should be three Ultras in here. If you get a Collector Rare, I think in Toon Chaos they replaced. I don't think they do anymore, but you could get two Ultras in a Collector Rare. So it's like they're even worse than like the current format. Gamma. I mean, actually, Gamma's the best card. Gamma's probably more than all the Supers. Envoy at the end, we have... Have we pulled any Pot of Desires yet? I don't think we have. Driver, that's another good rare in here. We have Blacklister Soldier, Envoy of the Evening Twilight, and uh, Gear Breed. Now we pull the other Blacklister Soldier, or the Fluffle Angel. Wow, this is, uh, this is a great start. Now can I pull something? I want to summon the luck for myself, and then I will pass it on to Nicholas. We have Cosmojo, Metaphors, Madolche, Pudding Cess. And, oh, that's a pretty good card. Hieratic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. I think it's not that expensive these days, but it's at least okay. Many packs left. Many, many packs left. Let's go. We have the Masked Hero Blast. Light Pulsar Dragon. Proglio. Envoy of Chaos. Masked Hero Dian. Masked Hero Goka. First Ultra right here. No! Not this one! Why do we always pull this one? This one sucks! No! We always get this ultra. The sword of Raptinus. I think it's like 20 cents or something. Pain and suffering has ensued. Okay, we would rather have had a super right there. All right, that is definitely not what we were looking for. That hurts, but that's okay. It's just, it's just an ultra. Maybe we can get a collector rare to make up for it. Here we go. There's a desire. I think that's the first one of the box. Very good card. Toon World. Witch of the Black Forest. Gemini Ablation. The Solid Soldier, Stardust Dragon, I haven't seen that a lot, and the Micro Coder, there you go, Coder. We're probably getting close to halfway through. One Ultra so far, and it is a poopy one. We have the CED, Blacklister Soldier, Envoy of the Evening, Twilight, Gear Breed, Witch of the Black Forest, Cyframe Driver, Dwarf Star Dragon, Planeter, and Magician of Hope. I'm saying all the words in every card this time. Yeah, we are working on our pronunciation, baby. That's how we do it. Here we go. We have Blacklister Soldier, Sacred Soldier, Masked Hero Dian. These are like uh, tongue twisters. There's so many S's. Chaos Zone, Code Generator, Chaos Sorcerer, Pot of Desires. That's good. And... Chaos Space, a very good super. Actually worth over a dollar, I think. So that's a solid super. We will take that. One of the best cards we pulled. I don't know if it beats out Gamma or not. All right, I'm gonna try another Metal Raiders pack. I have a couple packs left for myself, including this one. And a lot left for Nicholas. Hopefully he can pull something crazy. Skull Knight, that's a great common. Gazelle, king of mythical beasts. Killer Needle, Feral Imp, Ibikime. Harpy Lady, Soul Release, Little Chimera, and the dragon that crawls. Okay, not that great, not that great. Here we go, Toon Chaos. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Here we go. We got a ding at the back. That's not a good sign. This is definitely going to be a collector right now. Code Generator, Gamma, Master of Blast, BLS, Envoy of the Evening, Twilight, Dark Flare Dragon. Come on. Thank goodness. Just a super. Master of Acid. That can be dinged at the back. No big deal. Let's just keep going. 
Just keep on moving like nothing ever happened. Curse of Dragonfire, co-generator, number 68. We got Masked Hero Goka. Not a bad card. That was like a $1 rare out of Generation Force before this reprint. We're remembering all the way back about reprints before 2020. Yeah, it's getting crazy. We have the True King Lith Lithosigem, 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 the disaster. I don't know. A Magician of Hope. I'm trying to figure out that name so I can say it, but it's not happening, man. It's just not happening. Nicholas R, come on, baby. You've had one Ultra and it is a bad one. It is not happy right now. Dark Flare Dragon. We want to turn this around. The True King. We're going to skip your name. Dwarf Star Dragon Planeter, the Gamma. Crossover. Stardust Dragon. Eh. Fried Furmeister. Okay. okay. It just feels like there's so many supers. And it's just a normal box of Toon Chaos and Collector Rares in general. I think there still might be like eight packs left. I thought there was a lot less earlier. Maybe it's just so many supers. It just feels like you open a million packs and you can't pull anything. Witch of the Black Forest. Come on, baby. Curse of Dragonfire. We just need one pack for an amazing pull. Envoy of Chaos. Dwarf Star. Mud Dragon. Gear Breed and Chaos Space. I mean, two Chaos Space in a box is, I think they're usually like one per box. So that's actually pretty solid. Decent value there. We'll take it. Now, can we pull an actual Ultra or Collect? Collector Rare would be ideal. That's what we're really looking for. <sighs> Code Generator. Dark Flare Dragon. Come on, baby. Number 68. Gotta believe. Crossover. Sign at Code. Codec. Sangin. Pentoon. Terror. They are terrified to be pulled, apparently. All right, I have one more Ghost from the Past with one pack that I'm going to open up real quick, then we'll finish off the Toon Chaos box. My last chance at the Ghost Rare for today, Time Thief Winder, Dragoonity Phalanx, Mass Change, Royal Prison. Come on, Ghost Rare. Come on. Come on. I don't want to steal Nicholas's Thunder or anything, but I would be down to. We have the Starry Night Starry Dragon. Used to be a couple bucks when this set came out. Not so much anymore. All right, let's just get these out, see how many we have left. I think we have about six or seven packs. We have six packs, okay. Six packs left. Which one's gonna be a lot of Toon Black Cluster Soldier artworks? Those probably have the best chance. So we're gonna start off with the Chaos Creator artwork here. Will there be an epic pull? We have the BLS Envoy of the Evening Twilight. Are these cards? Okay. Keeper of Dragon Magic. We have Dwarf Star Planeter, Curse of Dragonfire, Toon World. Black Luster Soldier Envoy at the beginning. And the Fright for Sabretooth. This is another card that was crazy before this reprint. It's 15 bucks out of Dimension of Chaos. If you remember back in the early 2020 or 2019, we opened a lot of Dimension of Chaos. We had some crazy luck and there were some value cards in there for a while. There was like commons worth like a buck. There was rares worth like three bucks. There was ultra rares worth 15 bucks. It was insane. Some of the supers were like seven. It was, it was such a good value set. Not so much anymore. A lot's been reprinted. We have Vapor. Light Pulsar, Dark Flare, Gemini Ablation. We have number 68, and we have Sublimation Knight. This is crazy. We've only pulled one foil. I mean, they're all foils, but one Ultra Plus. So there's four left. I mean, two out of three have to be something. Maybe even three out of four, hopefully, if we're lucky. Come on, Toon BLS. Let's get a let's get something cool. Because so far, it's been a little bit of a dud. We have a Solid Soldier. We don't want it to be a dud. We need Nicholas R to be happy. Jim and I Ablation. Starlight. Star Bright, Keeper of Dragon Magic, and... Oh, yes! Asking you shall receive Toon Black Luster Soldier, the cover card. I said, hey, we want that. If this was a collector, this would be huge. Yeah, I asked for this guy, and he appeared. This is such a sick-looking card. That's a great pull. I don't know the value anymore because it did get the Toon Chaos reprint, but this is the original print, okay? Original, better, okay? Even though it doesn't look as good. Three packs left. I told you these packs would have something. They had, The artwork had the exact card inside, which is pretty cool. All right, can we get a collector rare? Come on. Dwarf Star, CED, Code Generator, Sangan, Master of Blast, Proglio, and another chaos space three chaos space it's actually kind of sick three chaos space in one box wow now that's still like two three bucks that's gonna add up that's a good pull two packs left maybe it's a collector and an ultra i feel like they replaced the ultras though so probably not both but we'll find out we have the mud dragon we just want the collector we don't care about the other ultra chaos zone bls we have the starlight road the tune world sign at codec come on baby for nicholas extravagance i forgot this is in here this is one of the big pulls pot of extra boom baby it even has a collector rare print i'm remembering this now that is insane so does desires they both have collector rares in here that's a great pull for nicholas and the mower showed up for the final pack magic you, hopefully you guys can't hear it but you, maybe you can nicholas here we go baby i believe in you you got this 
collector rare to end it off this would be a massive turnaround it would go like nice ultra chaos space nice ultra collector rare. that would be a great way to end all the packs i said were bangers just saying driver pot of desires already a good start let's get the uh, uh game on here as well stardust envoy we have the black soldier sacred soldier and finally nicholas will you get a collector rare come on baby Ah, no collector rare, but that was still a pretty sick opening. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let Nicholas know down below that you appreciate him. Shout out to Tonefo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, and then a Tai Show, Ian Moosey Jr. Barding, Robert F., and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.